And no vote can be described as meaningful if the alternative is the damage of WTO terms. And finally and lastly, uh, Mr Speaker, and thinking about the injunction you have given with us to be brief, that is, we're asked why should we not just uh, accept the word of the Brexit Secretary and these other chaps and chapesses in the government when they tell us things and we don't need to put things into the legislation. Can I just quote a little bit of the history of the assurances that we've been given in Scotland in terms of this legislation? The Telegraph. Theresa May has indicated she said she will not trigger the formal process for leaving the EU until there is an agreed UK approach backed by Scotland on the 15th of July last year. Now, I admit that is not handsome, but surely the Daily Telegraph is the nearest the Tories can have to an official report <laughs> and a handsome. That promise has been swept broken. away. That commitment has been broken, as indeed was their reaction to the Scottish Government's argument to keep us all within the single marketplace, not even regarded seriously, not even consulted before the Prime Minister dismissed that as an alternative. And then, of course, the compromise. Let Scotland stay within the single marketplace, even if this Government is determined to drag the rest of the UK out of it, not even given serious consideration over the last three months, no substantive reply, because in their arrogance, this Government believes that the 48 per cent across the UK, the members of the House of Lords, the people with doubts on their own back benches, the nations in this country, two of which voted for Remain in the referendum, that our view doesn't matter. It can be swept aside as we proceed headlong to the hard Brexit cliff edge. Well, today in Scotland, perhaps the Government were disabused of that notion because there might not be a real vote, a meaningful vote in this chamber, but there shall be a meaningful vote in Scotland about protecting our millennium-long history as a European nation.